Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Christine L and today I am talking about my journey with Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company to six figures, all right? Now, this video has been in the works for the past two and a half weeks and I will say I apologize to my subscribers who have been waiting for this video. There is another video, it is an hour and a half long and still, it does not have everything that I have gone through within this journey. Um, my husband stated that that video was too long. And uh, so I have some cue cards and I'm going to try to put it in a nice 15 minute video. All right. I am working on a website. And once that website is up, I will have my complete journey in like an ebook, an audio book. And if you want to listen to the true, real deal, deep down stories, it'll be there. So for this clip, let's go ahead and get started. So I started in 2011. I will say that this was not an opportunity that I was interested in coming into, all right? My husband saw the business opportunity first and kind of pushed me into this business. Now, um, coming in, I knew nothing about leads. Uh, there was really no training. I went out with my upline to one appointment and he shook my hand and told me, good luck. That was my training. I literally had to figure this thing out in the beginning. Um, so definitely was not interested. I was doing my credit repair uh, company. Still, I was running that. I was running a mobile stylist business as well as doing Mary Kay on the side. And then I was doing Lincoln Heritage. So that lets you know how serious I was. Throughout that time, that that one month, because I started at the end of November. So at the end of 2011, I grossed $2,934. Now, that was my money because I did not know about leads. And of course, there were no chargebacks in my first month. 2012, this year, oh my God, a, a ton of arguments, ton of fights with my husband because I still was not doing Lincoln full time. He knew that the money was there. He knew the opportunity was phenomenal, but he has always been in sales and I was not. And I told him I really was not interested in this anyway. But of course, I followed through. 2012, again, I was still doing credit. I was doing Mary Kay. I was still doing hair and Lincoln. I did one full year doing a little bit more, you know, than um, I thought I would, but really was not focused on this business. At the end of the year, I ended up with $40,000, 40000 And again, I did no leads. I didn't know anything about leads. And I really did not have any chargebacks yet at all because I was doing warm market uh, referral business. So that business was pretty solid but $40,000. That's what made me get serious, a little bit more serious. I'll say I didn't really get serious, serious for another two years, but I stopped doing hair and I still did the credit repair, but I stopped doing hair. And I took that time and did a couple more appointments with Lincoln Heritage. Now this is 2013. Throughout the course of 2013, um, I started to almost figure this out. I started to enjoy it a little bit more. I was getting paid more often because I was writing more business. Um, 2013 also was the year that I started to get chargebacks and I was not writing a lot of business. So the chargebacks made me feel some kind of way. It's, it was like I wasn't making any money anyway and here I'm getting chargebacks, right? Um, come October of 2013, I decided that I wanted to go into management. So I was inquiring about what I needed to do for management. I always knew that I was a trainer, that, um, you know, I love to help people. I was a motivator. I was an encourager. I've done it my whole career with Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield for 14 years, why not do that here? So as I'm going into the field of learning how to be a manager into the MIT um, program, <laughs> I, 
I received the termination notice. Now I'm out of town working at this time and my husband calls me, tells me that I have a termination letter and I go off. I still didn't really understand the business. I didn't really have a great relationship with my upline. I called my uplines and went off. I was thinking they were trying to cut my money. You know, they didn't believe in me because I was the only female. All kinds of crazy stuff. My mind, my mindset was really just not not there. And uh, thank God they didn't terminate me, right? So, um, call Lincoln Heritage to figure out what this persistency thing meant. Um, to understand the reports, what I needed to do, because now I'm starting to like this thing and I'm about to get terminated, right? And at that same time, I found out that the IRS had contacted Lincoln Heritage and stated that um, they were going to take all of my advances, that I was only able to receive $426 a month. Talk about a blow, right? At that moment, I decided this is what I wanna do. I get hit with the IRS and I'm about to be terminated. So. At that point, it was either get serious or get off the pot. I decided to get serious. I spent hours on the phone with the IRS. Thank God I was able to get them to accept the payment arrangement. So that lifted that, um, I, I don't remember what they called it, but it lifted them from being able to take all of my income. Uh, thank God for that. As well as I spent hours on the phone with, with Lincoln Heritage to learn all the reports, what I needed to do, how to do it, uh, what re what forms I needed to complete the work, so forth and so on. So I went to work. This is the end of 2013, all right? At the end of 2013, I ended up at $58,000. Now, this was really exciting for me because working at Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, I was there for 14 years and I made 56,000. Under somebody else's time stamps, couldn't take vacation times when I wanted. They didn't let me take a family leave when my sister had her stroke because she wasn't my, you know, um, my mother or my father or my direct child. All kinds of restrictions with that job. And here I am just trying to figure things out and I made more in my second year, second full year. All right, 2014. 2014, I am now going, I've already been approved to go to the manager and trainings retreat out in Florida, which was in January. It was January 16th that we were due to go out. And um, completely excited, I'm ready to go. I have my notebooks ready, I have my clothes packed. I'm ready. The day before we are due to book the flight, well, we have the flight, due to board the flight, my sister dies. Yes, my sister dies the day before I am scheduled to leave for this manager's retreat. I lost it. It was crazy, very emotional. I did everything that I needed to do for that. We called Lincoln Heritage. Um, they were able to save my mother $3,600 on the arrangement. Um, I had to make a decision. Was I going to stay home and continue crying and continue wondering why, what happened? And she wasn't sick the day before, so forth and so on. She died in her sleep, da, 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 da. Or was I going to continue on and complete this training so that I could move forward in life? I chose to go to the training. It was crazy, but I learned so much. I was able to push through. I had to emotionally dealt with a lot while I was there in my own corners. However, I understood that I am still here and I needed to more than ever get into this management because now that my sister had passed, there was nobody else that was gonna take care of my mother but me. And I didn't have the finances at that particular time to do it. So here we are. I am in Florida. I am learning everything. Um, I am picking everybody's brains. I, I mean, it was just a lot. It was a lot. And 
I came back on Saturday. Uh, we laid her to rest on that Sunday. And that Monday, I went to work. Just to give you an example, I pulled up my 2014-2015 calendar. And I just want to show you real quick, just an example of what my months looked like. All right. This year was serious. I had not used a calendar the previous months before, previous years before, because I was not serious about this. I hired an appointment setter. And she made all types of phone calls for all through my old leads. I had started doing leads this year and, and I was able to get a ton of old leads for free um, as well as some new leads. So I hired an appointment setter and she made a million calls. She set up four to five appointments per day for me. Um, that lasted for a good three months. And then things changed in her life and she was not able to make quality appointments anymore. She was actually setting appointments at the ball field and people were complaining about it being so loud. Um, however, I was serious. I had the flyers, the inserts from Lincoln Heritage. I had my kids out with me on the weekends. We were putting flyers on everybody's car. We were putting them in people's doors. We were knocking a neighborhood and rolling. I did everything that I normally would not do because I had to. I knew that I now had to take care of my mother's bills and I didn't have enough really to cover my husband's bills if I had to, let alone taking care of my mother's. So there was no, I had no options. I had no options but to get out and grind. And that's what I did. Um, I did not have the money initially to pay for an appointment setter, but the way that I figured it out was I set it up that I paid her every two weeks. So she was working for the first two weeks and I was out hustling. So by the time it came for me to have to pay her, the money was there. And she was setting the appointments. So it made that a lot easier. Spent a lot of time on YouTube, learning presentations because at that point we didn't have any really. Um, learned a lot on YouTube. Oh my God, just so much. I actually had created a little um, poster board and I put pictures, excuse me, not pictures, but I put mirrors on the top part and at the bottom I had the pictures of my different goals so as I would practice my presentation in front of myself in the mirror to make sure that I was checking my facial expressions you know because I have a lot of them so making sure that that was in order just playing back in my mind what somebody could say the objection all right so now I'm going into 2015 all right in 2014 let me back up August of 2014, I crossed over to management. So I was able to achieve the MGA status in 2014, which was my goal at the beginning of the year to accomplish. So I was able to do that with my team members, the Life Now team members. Um, and that was phenomenal. That was just, that was really good. The end of 2014, I earned my income ring, which is this beauty right here, right? Um, everybody who does six figures earns their rings, has tons of diamonds going around it. Has You can have your agency name or your own name. I put life now because it's all about living your life now, living in full expectation, never ending opportunities within is what that stands for. Um, my husband was able to put the ring on it at the ceremony. So that was awesome for him to be there and celebrate that with me because without him, I wouldn't even be here. He pushed me and pushed me even when I did not want to be pushed, but it was necessary because I didn't see the vision. All right. So thank God for that. Um, so jumping into 2015, still did my calendar, a little more structured. I did not run the field as much. Um, I was focused on my team members more in 2015. I still produced, um, I still did appointments, but I was training other agents to do the same thing. So um, it just was a good time. A lot of traveling. We Oh my God, a lot of traveling with this company. Um, 
it's just been phenomenal. Cruises, um, the beach, the Bahamas, Hawaii. I mean, just a ton of different uh, vacation spots with the people that we work with. And that is just amazing to me to work with such an amazing group and then vacation with them as well. And it's okay. Like you want to be around the same people. So that's awesome. 2015, my residual income was growing. My monthly income was definitely increasing. I was consistent in the field. I was loving what I was doing. I started having fun in the field. Um, I started really loving all my clients and understanding that it's not sales, that it's more connecting and having a com conversation with them and really finding their need. And because my sister had died, I really understood the process of what a family member could go through at that time. And um, I was able to share my sister's story with clients. And that helped me take my business to another level. Um, and I ended 2015 at 184000 And the beautiful thing about this business and how as long as you stay consistent and as long as you stay plugged in and as long as you consistently are learning and growing, I literally had to change my own mind. I had to strip the old Christina away and become a new person in this business because the old me was not working. The old mindset was not working. The mindset I have today is so much better than what I had before, but I'm still growing. I still need to strip off more bad layers so that I can make it to that next level. That's why I keep a vision board. That's why I keep my motivational clips playing every day. Um, I know in 2013 and 14, I played Tasha Cobbs, breaking the chains every single morning because I was dealing with a lot of personal issues, a lot of things. And um, I, every morning, things it was like I was being attacked and every morning I had to play that song and I'd have it blaring through the house, breaking those mental chains. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really cut it short Again, there is another one that is up. It is very animated. It has a lot more details in there. It's, it's hilarious to me. Um, but for the sake of YouTube, I wanted to make sure that I can get the main nuggets. Consistency, your schedule, sticking and staying, even through the no-shows, the people not answering the phones, the people slamming the doors. Just keep going. And you guys, please... Put your comments down below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this clip of how I have earned my six figures through this business. Of course, there are a million stories through this process. And again, the time is not here. I am really thinking about putting together an audiobook for you guys of there's so much. And it's so funny. And there's things that are just, yeah, there's just so much. And I would love to share everything with you guys. But again, that's just not going to be possible here. So give me a thumbs up again if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. There are a ton of videos coming up. Uh, the latter part of this month, we're going to have our first a couple that are not both married in the business, but one's in the business and one helps the business but the wife actually deals with all of the spouses of the agents, and that is a dynamic team. So I look forward to sitting with them at the end of this month, and I look forward to getting that data, that content up to you guys. So peace, blessings, and thank you for tuning in.